Hey guys, Portia here and today I am working on a design for this low ball 10 ounce tumbler. I picked it up from Johnson Plastic Plus. This is going to be for Father's Day and we will be designing in Cricut Design Space. So let's go ahead and get started. This will be a two sided tumbler and let's start with our first side. I want to upload an image of a distressed basketball. Now this tumbler is for my husband. He is a sports fanatic. He loves everything sports, multiple sports, and basketball just happens to be one of his. So eight. I flip the ball around. I think it looks better pointing in this direction. Now the first thing I wanna add to this image is his name. And we are going to use a font that looks very similar to the ESPN font. And I got it from defont.com and it is called SF Sports Night. And we are going to go ahead and use that. I'm going to select both of the images and I want to align that vertically. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and just select the name only. And with this, I want to change the offset. And I want a thin rim around there, not too thick. So I'm gonna change this to 050. And I'm gonna hit apply, right? So let's go ahead and move the name out of the way. I'm gonna leave the offset here. Select both the ball and the offset. And I'm gonna hit slice. From here, I wanna move the ball out of the way. I'm gonna select what we sliced out or off and just exit out of that. So I pretty much deleted that out, um, out of our way. And the name, I wanna change the color to this red here. And we're gonna slide it back into the negative space. I'm gonna select both images again and I'm gonna say center vertically. All right, looks good. And this is going to be print thin cut. So we're gonna flatten the image. And I wanna size this down. Make sure that you measure your tumbler so you, you'll know what you're working with before you get started. And I have already done that. And that looks pretty good to me. So one side done. Now the other side, I want to put the definition of dad on there as interpreted by the kids. So I asked my daughter and my son to give me their own definition of dad. And we are going to use their actual words. So we're typing dad in there. Now I am not gonna use this same font. There's another font that I got off of the font and it's called Plain, Plain Crash. And I like it because of the, the distressed look. So it kind of stays with the theme that we're going for. And I believe I want dad to be the same red. I'm not sure about that yet. Um, we'll play with it and find out. All right, so here on my little sticky note, I have the definition that the kids came up with. So my daughter wrote my favorite person to stand super close to and she said that she wanted me to stress the word super. So anytime she does that, he knows that she wants a hug. And then my son came up with a rhyme which is totally indicative of his personality. And my husband is gonna know who said what right away and I think that's pretty dope. So for this, we are gonna stick with a oldie but goodie. So that's gonna be Times New Roman. And I want to make this a size 12 font. And we can go ahead and paste it in there. And now let's size this down because this came in super big. All right, let's we'll size it back up. So now we can see what we're working with. All right, so now we have our word and then we have the definition. But I do wanna add a, just a little bit more visual interest to this. So let's add some lines or some kind of grid for us to nestle around the word and a definition. 
So I am going to select, what do I want? Shapes here. I'm gonna select this and square. I'm going to unlock this because I want this to be long and narrow to fit right between dad and the definition. All right. Maybe a little bit longer. Move that down. All right, that looks pretty good to me. But you know what, I do wanna put noun in here somewhere, so I'm gonna make this a little bit longer. So I'll have room, I'll probably put noun on the left side. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this. So that it'll frame out our bottom. All right. And then I am going to duplicate the line one more time. And then this one is going to be shorter, thinner, because I want this to close off the left side of the image. Put that right there. It looks pretty good. So now I'm going to select all three of our lines and I want to weld those together before it gets messy and I start moving stuff around and the shapes get all misshapen and we don't want that. And I'm going to change this color to black. All right, that looks good to me. Now on this left side, this space here, I just want to add um, the letter N, lowercase N, and we are going to make this italic bold italic and then we also want to change the color to black gotta move that right here so it looks pretty good to me so at first if you just add the dad and then the definition to me it looked a little bit plain which is why I just wanted to add a little bit more there and once again, we are going to select all three. Oops, get that out the way. I wanna select all three or four of our elements and we are gonna size this down. Like I said, make sure you take your measurements and this is gonna wrap around the other side of our tumbler. So we gotta have, we're gonna have one side, the other side, and before I forget, because this is print thin cut, we're going to flatten. All right, great, that looks good to me. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is go ahead and print this out. I won't cut it with the maker, I'm gonna just cut it by hand, and I'll print it on my sublimation printer. And when we come back, we will prepare our tumbler so that we can sublimate our right, image. Guys, so board. I have my two sides cut out. I think they came out pretty well. That is one side and we got the other there. So now I'm gonna just go ahead and get it taped down. All right, we are ready for the press. All right, let's go ahead and put it in the press. Now, the thing about this one is it's a tight fit. So be careful sliding it down. So I taped it very well to ensure that nothing moved. I'm gonna put this like this. I am gonna have to turn this, but we're gonna go ahead and let it go. And I'm gonna do the first press for 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna do a half a turn to bring this little area here, this area here, around to the side. And then we'll do the other 30 All seconds. Right. That's the second side done. And I'm gonna pull this out. It's nice and hot. I'm gonna sit it on my little mat here. And they say you can immerse it in water and go ahead and handle it, but I like mine to cool off, cool off completely. I'm gonna get this out the way. So we will let this cool off, and then when we come back, 
we will unwrap together. Okay, we are completely cooled. Our colors seem to have come through nicely. I'll go ahead and pop open this side first. I'm excited to see the um, the color come through on stainless steel. Um, I think it's going to be really pretty. Get rid of that. All right, guys, let's see. Ooh, super cute. So we do have some white residue. Just use some warm water to get that off. I don't even think that the water has to be warm, but I always use warm water. So I really like how vibrant and dark our black is. And through the red, you can still see a little bit of the metallic. So that creates a really nice effect. Let's do our other side. Could you imagine guys doing this with vinyl? Um, a little bit of tweaks to maybe the lettering, but it can it could have been done. Um, weeding all of these letters uh, completely of the devil. So thank God for sublimation. Let's get this out of here. nice I really love how our distressed look came through our letters are nice and clear so this looks good all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up we are going to do a 360 of our stainless steel tumbler so yeah guys and check I it out am here. completely loving the look of sublimation in stainless steel I think they make a happy pair we got the brightest reds the darkest black and the final course is super clear so I hope I have inspired you guys to try a stainless steel tumbler for the dad in your life if you got any questions concerns emotional outbursts let me know if you haven't done so already go ahead and subscribe to color me Portia but until next time peace